Hi, how are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. <laughs> Today I'm at my parents' house, so that's why it's my different background. This is a cushion of a bee. So somebody asked me recently, Amy, how do you learn lines? And I was like, oh my god, this would make a great video idea. So here I am, telling you how I learn lines. So. So when I get a role, I get my script and I read the script in full or the monologue or whatever, I read it in full three times at least. Just like read it, read it, read it. Specifically if it's a full script, I think it's very important to read the entire thing. And as I say, at least three times. Just reading, just reading, don't focus on learning anything, just read it. Get it into your mind, get it into your body. I personally need to do things a bit kind of three times to be able to do them properly. I really hope it doesn't work like that with my driving test. I hope I don't have to take it three times. The easiest way that I I'm going to explain this is if I talk about like doing a monologue because it's just like an extended piece of text but you can do this for lines in shows and whatever so what I do is I sit down with my laptop and I type out all my lines I type them out so it's a physical thing of me typing seeing them arrive on the screen it going into my head but it's just an extra way that it gets in there and then I print it off and I print out various copies and I put them around my house when I was in training you would never go into my toilet without there being a monologue on the back of the wall because it was just how I learned stuff. So basically you're in the bathroom. You do your monologue a few times if you're in the shower. You perform your monologue in the shower. What I'd really like to do is put one next to my mirror when I'm brushing my teeth and in the morning or at night. So I'm just like staring into space or whatever. I would be reciting my monologue in my head, you know, getting it in there. Monologue, monologue, monologue. To be or not to be, that is the question. And then I also, when I'm doing the typing, if I don't do it at that point, I will then go back and I will type a line. For example, the sonnet, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? So I'd read it. Shall I Put, compare thee to a summer's day. Type it, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Then I will close my eyes and I will type it with my eyes closed. It will all be spelt wrong, but it's the general gist. And it helps me to do the physical thing again, getting it there and then into my head. I'll then add another line. So, to be or not to be? No. What? <laughs> shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I want my lovely and more temperate. So I'd then type out, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I want my lovely and more temperate. And then I would try to do it again with my eyes closed. And then I would go for three lines. So I would read the three lines, I would type the three lines, I would then type it blind folded with my eyes closed or whatever and then eventually it's just like when you get down to the bottom you've had to memorize the entire thing and you type in it and it helps <laughs> Maybe that's just me though. That's one that really helps for me. Normally after I've done all those things, the monologue is locked away in there. Other things that you can do, I know some people like to record their voice and they play it when they sleep or on the tube. I personally find it very, very easy to tune out of noises that I'm hearing. I can listen to a full audiobook and I've not taken anything in because I'll just start thinking of something else. If I was listening to my voice, I would just tune out of it. Like I'm sure many of you have right now. Try finding things in the text that associate with each other. For example, when I was learning the song on my own, I really struggled because, you know, like a verse one and a verse two, I sometimes forget like which bit comes when. So if I'm doing like a verse one and a verse two, in the first verse, it's on my own pretending he's beside me. And it's all about being with him. Second verse, in the rain, the pavement shines like silver. Second verse is all about things like the rain, the pavement, the lights. It's the way that I remember on my own anyway. It works for me. So I'll try to find things that are like connected with each other in a way that that makes sense. If you have to do a list when you're um, doing your thing, try to find a way that the list makes sense to you. If it's in alphabetical order, if the first letters spell a word, I know that that might be really overthinking things, but again, it works for me. Ask a friend to help you and let them be mean. If a friend is running lines with you and they don't stop you whenever you say anything wrong, even the slightest word, if it's changing a but to a however, that's an awful example. If it's a tiny word and they don't stop you, then they're not being very nice. Ask a friend to go and every single thing that you do even slightly wrong, get them to say, nope, stop. Get them to say the line again. You then try it again. You have to be strict when you're trying to learn lines. Yeah. So another thing I would do is to read your script or your lines or whatever. First thing before you go to bed. Sorry. Last thing before you go to bed. The very, very last thing you do before you close your eyes and switch off the light. Read through your script. Just read 
read it. And then in the morning, the first thing that you do in the morning, the first thing, switch off your alarm, open your eyes before you even check your phone, get your script, read your script. And honestly, I think it will really, really help. It helps me. Sometimes as well, if I do it every night for a few nights in a row, I'll dream parts of the script or I'll dream parts of the show or whatever. And that really helps as well. <laughs> and finally, don't give up. It can be so, so stressful when you look at all this text and you're like, how is that gonna go in there? It will. It just takes a lot of time and finding what works for you. These things all work for me or an, amal or an amalgamate an amalgamation of them will work for me. But yeah, good luck, happy line learning. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.